Borokosha karadadada sadadadada boturusha dadada sadada Borokosha karadadada sadadadada boturusha dadada sadadada Yes Jesus Yes Lord In your mercy mercy guys thank him for his mercies thank him thank him for his mercies guys thank you for your mercy lord jesus i'm a partake of your mercy lord jesus i've seen your mercy lord god thank you jesus thank you for your mercy lord jesus I've seen your mercy, felt your mercy, know your mercy. Can I ever repay you? I've seen your mercy. I know your mercy, I felt your mercy, how can I ever repay you? Guys, this song that I'm singing to you guys, I'm gonna um, put it in the description box, yeah? His mercy, tasted your mercy. I've seen your mercy. I've partaked of your mercy. So today, um, this video is called A Mother and Son's Love. A Mother and Son's Love. But before we go into today's um, message, guys, I just want to say something before I pray. Everything that I come up on here is real life. It's either my testimony, it's either something I've lived, I've overcome. I don't come here to tell you those stories. I come here so you can also testify and witness the power of God. The power, when I say God, I'm talking about Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I'm talking about the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. I'm talking about the one that was and is to come jesus christ of nazareth okay when i come here and i share anything that i share is to glorify jesus christ of nazareth the power of the resurrection praise god because people say god 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 but i don't hear you testifying jesus christ of nazareth be clear who's your god so we're all clear praise god hallelujah now um as I said, today's message is um, a mother's, ma a mother and son's love. Praise God. Praise God. All right, let's go into prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you in the mighty name of Jesus. We give you the glory. We give you the adoration. We bless your holy name. Spirit of living God, we ask you, Holy Spirit, come and help me. Come and have your way. Lord, you've been ministering to me to come and speak to your um, daughters of Zion's mothers and their sons. Holy Spirit, have your way. Let me decrease for you to increase. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that this video is for those that you are speaking to and you want to touch, Lord God. 
Father, I just want to say thank you. I covered alive in the precious blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I come against every witch, warlock, and anything to stop or hinder this video in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Spirit of living God, I cover your children under the sound of my voice in the precious blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord, come and have your way. Let this video touch who you want it to touch. Thank you. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. Guys, please, if this message, it touches you, share it with your loved ones. Share it with the people that it's for. Please, please, please share, like, subscribe. Thank you. Thank you so much. So, um... I've been spending some time with um, the Holy Spirit, spending some time with Jesus. How did this topic come? Um, come? How did it? How did it come up? Why did the Lord say go and speak to my daughters? Now, um, I think that some of you know that my son got stabbed, and it was it was uh, it was very traumatizing. Okay. Now, um, due to that, it's made my ministry go back to like um men mentoring and counseling women okay now it's been a season from listening to women and their sons listening to women and their sons so the lord i was like lord it's a burden and i started going into prayer for women and their sons now um this is not everyone's message because as far as i'm concerned we're doing too much, you know. Um, people think it's enough disclaimer to just go to church on a Sunday. But really and truly, when you go home, you have issues. You have things that you don't want to tell your family. You don't even want to tell your pastor. Or if you tell your pastor, the pastor just gives you a little prayer and says, let's, let's, let's have faith. Let's, let's, I don't even know, yeah. But um, the Holy Spirit that I seek he is a comforter. He is like, I don't want you to be embarrassed. You're not the only one. I want you to talk to my daughters. I want them to feel that I, I am Jesus. I have not left them in a place of sorrow. I have not left them with no solution. Praise God, the word solution. So guys, for me, I can't be doing church as normal. I can't be going to a church on a Sunday just to get that little once a week top up. I can't do that. The, the, the Holy Spirit that I spend time with is concerned about families. The Holy Spirit is concerned like, there's my daughter that's up at night crying, or there's my daughter up and at night having um, um, issues in the house because of her son, and she has no one to talk to. She has no one to go to. There's no go-to go, go, go to person. There's no one she can trust. Now, this is where the Holy Spirit would put me on blast and say, Adassa, go and tell them that you have been through these things, and it's me that has healed you. It's me that you've cried to. It's me that you've um, gone into the secret place that says, Father, what do I do? Now, I've always said to you guys, the Lord has told me to speak on a son. But if you can relate and you've got a girl, you can tap in for the girl. There will be a season when the Lord tells me to talk about um, girls. Like when I say girl, I'm talking about daughters. But right now, he's talking about his um, sons. Now, you've been seeing what's going on in this world. He, she, he, he, he is becoming a she. Now, if it's not happening that way, disclaimer, you've got these poor women in the house and they're struggling to deal with their sons. Guys, there's there's a spirit out here. It used to be prison. It still is prison. But I'm just giving you how I used to see it. But now it's not. The child's in the house and that child is bringing, the son is bringing all sorts of disgrace, shame to the parent. And in, in, that, in that, the reason why it's called a, a mother and son's love because when you when you have a son praise god and especially when it's your first son there's a um there's a say that your first son is your first love okay now um whether you're this is not married this listen this stuff is not coming to say oh it's my it's, um, single mothers is that whether, if you're a mother if you're a parent this is the the, the demonic system that i'm seeing now these young boys are getting themselves in so much um, and stuff. Yeah, they're getting caught up in so much stuff. Now, some of them are being havered in the home. Yeah, 
And these are not homes that are just single. Listen, what's going on now? It's not discrimination. It's not, oh, single mother, single mother home. It's happening in marriage homes. It's happening in single mother homes. It's been happening in single mother homes, but now it's attacking the marriages now. So what am I saying? Now, you, you have mothers, yeah, with their sons. You've, you've prayed for that boy. Some of you, you've took so much from that boy. Some of you, this, your sons just like, they've taken over the house. They've been unruly. They've been disrespectful. They've been like, listen, let me tell you something. I'm touching a topic. Only mothers, some husbands are going to understand, but it's a, I'm talking about a mother because it's a mother and a son's bond. It's just unbreakable. But the reason why I'm talking about this mother and son bond as well, because that son is breaking your heart and you don't even know what to do anymore. That son is like, is brought so much. And if you're Africans as well, because Africans, the, what I know of Africans, disclaimer, we hide things very well. Yeah. You, they'll still put on makeup, go church. You'll never know. You'll never know what's going on. Guys, God doesn't want you to live like that. God doesn't want you to live. The enemy is would want you to be like whispering that like shame and disgrace. But the, the, the but God doesn't want you to live like that. God wants you to get in groups and fight this thing if it's happening to you. Yeah, guys, everything now come on. I have been through some stuff and I've been through similar stuff like this, and I've had to fight it. Me and the Holy Spirit. So He's raised me up so I can speak to women. And what I'm telling you now, you don't have to be shamed. You don't have to be disgraced. You don't have to feel like, oh my God, if this gets out, family members, friends, this, that, yeah? A mother's love will cover up all sorts of stuff, yeah? For their son, okay? But for me, unfortunately, I'm not that type of mom. But I'm just saying a mother's love because the Lord was trying to make me understand, like, you know, this thing is deep, okay? Women... We tend to think it's that little boy that we brought home from the hospital. And the Lord is saying, no, a grown person is a grown person. Yeah. The laws of the land says 18. So if that person's 18 and they're, they're, they're bringing havoc to the home and there's other children in the home, you, you need to, if you're a woman of God, you need to follow this, the, the word. What does the word say, guys? Yeah. Jesus does not want his daughters of Zion. I'm talking to women that pray. I'm not talking to women that you make your, your children your friend. No, 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 no. I'm talking to women that you know that you pray to God concerning your son. Yeah. I don't know what the situation is. It could be prison. It could be the guys in your house causing havoc in the house. It could be um, selling drugs. It could be, you know, your situation and you know what you're going through with your son. I've come to tell you that Jesus Christ is concerned and he wants you not to give up. He wants you to pray. He wants you to find someone that you trust or counsel, biblical counsel, like counseling, like women of God that are not going to have time to gossip and do all that stuff, but they're going to pray with you and they're going to read the scriptures and they're going to pray for your son. The Lord is saying, don't give up on that child. Pray for the child, but do not live in your house and living in sin. Meaning like the, the boy or the, yeah, it's a boy. We're talking about son. Havered in the house. Yeah. Meanwhile, you say you're a lover of Jesus Christ. If that child is over 18 and you've spoken and you've tried to reason and they're not having it. And the Lord is giving you that through scriptures, he's told you what to do. You have to stand on what God is telling you to do because God knows that child before he gave you that child. Guys, let me, let me just give you some little nuggets. Yeah. I used to tell my son, leave his friends is the friends of the moms. Your mom's this, your mom's that. How can you tell him to leave? No, 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 no. Because I was not partaking with things that don't have nothing to do with God. Until my son understood that this woman means business. Yeah. God gave me that son. So if God tells me you have to stand on the word of God and this, you cannot touch any unclean thing. I have to listen to God. So if people want to judge me and say, oh my God, she's kicked out her son. Oh my God. Then, then, then. I wasn't, there's no way in scripture that tells me to be my son's mate. There's no way in the Bible where it says that I'm there to be his mate. Especially if this guy's over 18 and they're not doing what they're supposed to be doing. Yeah. 
rightfully. I'm talking about right for living. I'm talking about the word of God. Guys, let me tell you something. This was so heavy on me, yeah? And it's like, lately, the Lord is like, connecting me to a, a woman. This woman will tell me her story. It's about her and her son. Then another woman, her and her son. So I said, Lord, what's going on? We prayed and the Lord said, go and tell my daughters not to give up. Go and tell my daughters, give them a little bit of you, what I've done with you, yeah? Guys, I am telling you, <laughs> even, even some of the testimonies that I say, people judge me and people mock me when I come here and I'm opening up to you guys. It's not about me. It's what the Lord tells me to go and talk about. Like now I can say my son got stabbed. You've got people behind the camera that will put two and two together. No, it weren't, it's nothing that he's done, but you've got people that will put things together and think they know the whole story and you don't know nothing, yeah? What I'm trying to say is, in this time that we're in, your sons, sons, you need to, that's, that's if you're, listen, don't take my advice if you're not, if you're not a Christian, I don't even like that word. If you're not a child of God, don't listen to me. I'm talking to women that know that, you know what, there's a Messiah, there's a, um, there's a God that hears my cry. I'm talking to that type of woman, yeah? I'm telling you now that you cannot let go of your son through prayer. You can let go of him in like in your in your house, in your surroundings, if he's being disrespectful. But in prayer, in the secret place is where you have to cry and call on that boy's name and ask Jesus to have mercy. I said the song that I was just um, playing, I'm going to put it in the description box because because of his mercy, I'm telling you guys. Yeah, I stand here and I, I can testify. Yeah, I've heard, I've heard women and this, this do I said to you, this thing doesn't discriminate. I've heard married women and single women. Yeah, and mostly now it's married women. Their sons are causing havoc. Now, me, as I said to you guys, prayer. Prayer, 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 prayer. Guys, don't give up on your son. One thing I'll say to you is, you can't look at this child and think that it's, it's the child that you brought back from the hospital. No, 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 no. If that's a grown guy in your house and they're not doing what the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit says, train up your child. So now if you've trained them and then now they've decided that they're not going to, they're in your house. If they're not in your house, you don't even need to watch this. But if they're in your house and they're causing havoc, guys, the, seek the Holy Spirit for instructions and stand on the word of God. Seek the Holy Spirit for instructions and stand on the, whole, uh, on the word of God. We're doing too much mediocre. What's mediocre, woman of God? You're coming to church. You're smiling. You're smiling. Meanwhile, Monday to Friday, Monday to Saturday, there's havoc in your house. That's being fake. That is being fake. That's why people don't want to be coming to you guys' as churches. Because they're thinking, like, what is it all about? Yeah? Guys, we need to take control back of our homes. We need to be having godly homes. And your no is your no. Your yes is your yes. As I said, I popped on because... God is concerned of his daughters. Don't compromise. If that child is over 18, don't compromise. Yeah? You have to stand on. That's if you're a woman of God. You have to stand. When I say woman of God, a woman of faith, you read your Bible, you have a relationship with Jesus. You have to stand on the word of God. What does God say about your situation? I had to tell my son, mm -mm, it's not here. It's not happening. Until my son understood that I meant business. I meant business, but guys, yeah? You can't be out here trying to be your son's friend. You can't. You can't be out here and try to be your son's friend. You are here to make sure that your children make heaven. And yes, we will be accountable for our children. I gave you that child. What did you do? Guys, I can only speak to my sisters. Anyway, the Lord said to me, 
um, a mother a mother and son's love. I'm talking to my sisters. I'm talking to women that you know that you have a relationship with Jesus, but then things life life has happened. There's some things that you can't even share with family members because they're the first ones that are going to pick up a phone and start gossiping about you. But even those ones that gossip, don't worry about them. Don't worry about them because what you sow is what you reap. I'm coming here to say generally, Jesus Christ of Nazareth is concerned about his daughters. You're going through some stuff with your children. You've had to um, do um, 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 whatever it means that like you've had to do take things in your own ha hands to make sure that your son is safe. I'm talking to those kind of women, yeah? God is saying, keep on praying. God is saying, keep on covering your child, yeah? And what you need to understand as well is now we are, spirits are real, they're rampage, yeah? The demons that we were dealing with, these people dealing with, the demons are worse, yeah? You've got CERN that's open up in Switzerland that's doing almost, listen, the, the, the thing, the warfare of today is heavier than the way things were for us when we were young, okay? So what am I saying? It's not your son. The Bible tells us we wrestle not against flesh and blood. It's not your son you're, 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 you're fighting, yeah? And then they, they say mental illness. It's a demon. It's a demon. Get in your word of God. It's a demon. The quicker you understand what you're, you're dealing with, warfare, yeah? The quicker you know how to pray and what to do. Now, guys, I pray, I pray, I pray that no one takes offense because this is not even time for offense. I've been through some stuff and when I'm offering mentoring, counseling, it's not a joke. I'm here to tell the story. I'm here to say to you guys that Jesus, if you hand over your children to Jesus, I'm not talking about little kids. I'm talking about guys that are over 18. Now, some of these children, they don't even know what they're doing, guys. They don't know what they're doing. Let me let me give you a testimony to make some of you understand what I'm talking about, okay? And then I'm going to end it with my mom. I'm going to end it. And I'm going to dedicate this video to my mom because my mom went through a, a, a period with her son. But let's, let me get to a, a testimony, then I'll go on to my mom. Now, one time I happened to be at the right place at the right time. This woman said to me, are you a woman of God? And I said, yes. And she said, um, can I speak to you? I said, yes. This woman confided in me. This is, this is a real life story, guys. This is a real life story. Disclaimer. This woman said to me, um, I, I, I'd done a suit before I left home. And I was going to give the suit to my son and give my, the suit to myself. This woman was ready to take herself out of this world with her son. Because of the, 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 the shame and disgrace the son brought on her. Now, I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say to you guys. This stuff is real. Boys are getting, it's not even, it's been there all the time, but it's just rampage now, yeah? These guys are making havoc at home and women don't know what to do. They've tried everything. They don't know what to do. And this, this, this is a real life story that I'm telling you. I prayed with a woman. I happened to be at the right place at the right time. I prayed with her. I pleaded with her. I prophesied. Not even I. The Holy Spirit spoke through me to her. She went home. She threw the soup away. I called her. Even today, the, both of them are still living. But this is the level of the, when the enemy has rised in the sun. And then the mom doesn't know what to do anymore. Some cases... Now let's get on to my mom's case. I pray that I'm going to get into scriptures. I pray that you're listening. I pray that you understand that I'm not here judging. I pray that this video is for mothers that you know that I've tried everything. I've tried this. I've tried that. Keep on praying. Don't give up on praying. Let's go on my mom's one quickly. Now, my mom's up in heaven with Jesus. So praise God. But I'm going to share this one. Because some people can think that, ah, oh, I don't know what I'm talking about. I've just said to you, my son got stabbed. And even my son getting stabbed, that was not a, a thing where, like, it, it was his fault. No. But I'm trying to make you guys understand that I, I understand that the love of a mother for her son, I understand it. But the, at the same time, women, God wants you to stop 
looking at that child like it's the child that you bought at the hospital you've got to um what's it called um, um tough love tough love but stick on the scriptures tough love you love your children but what does this what do the scriptures say pray and watch yeah the scriptures if you read proverbs it tells you how to do your children okay let me digress now my mom one of her sons okay got into that disrespectful um i think he called her i think he called her uh, he called her name yeah he called her name my mom my character's a, a, a bit like my mom my mom didn't have it my mom put that boy on the first plane back to africa now what's the testimony the testimony is today very respectful young man is a family man educated smart it's not the same boy that disrespected his mom now some of you have that option some of you have the option where they're still young you got family back at home you can do that i did that yeah no one disrespected me i just saw that in that that time when i took my children to ghana i saw that there was a spirit boys were dying so i said nah i'm, I'm not gonna stay around for this so i took my kids to ghana but what am i saying some of you have that option some of you don't have that option but the best option is prayer guys i am coming on here to let women know that jesus christ of nazareth is thinking about you guys that's if you're connected that's if you know him a relationship i'm not talking about church i'm talking about a relationship with jesus christ of nazareth he's made me come on to tell you guys he's concerned about you, your your well-being about what worries you about the shame about the disgrace about not be able to sleep at night all them things that are on your um, spirit on your heart god is concerned he doesn't want you to carry this burden he's saying give the battle is his give the battle to him your job is to be with him and worship him guys you know what yeah when my son got stabbed yeah i didn't even have no words i was just like jesus jesus i was just calling him jesus so you don't have to when i say pray you don't have to start you know a rally start where you are Start where you are. It's about starting. I had a vision the other day. I saw a, a, a boy cussing out his mom. I saw a boy cussing out his mom. And this is why the law said mothers and their sons. God's seeing everything, you know. God is seeing everything. Some of you mothers are covering up for these boys and they're over 18. And you think it's going to get better. It's not going to get better. It's not going to get better. Especially if you don't know Jesus. Guys, if you read the book of Proverbs. Yeah, every day. Sisters, my sisters, my lovely sisters. If you read the book of Proverbs. It tells you how to deal with children. Yeah. It tells you how to deal with your children. Now. Some of you might think I'm the bad guy. Because it seems like tough love. Listen, the way I was raised, yeah? <laughs> let me even go there. To, to help somebody, let me go there. My grandmother, my mom's mom, was a politician. Now, when if you know anything about politicians, they don't have time to, hello, silver spoon, and da da da. No, my grandma wasn't like that. <laughs> Not to me anyway, right? I had a tough childhood. I didn't, I didn't have no childhood of, um, oh, how was school today? Come sit on my lap. Hi. No, 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 no. My grandma was into politics. She was a very hard person. Yeah. Discipline area. So now when I look at the way I was raised and the way my children are raised, uh, excuse me, you guys had it. You had it good. You had it good. What am I saying? Am I saying to be so hard that your children can't talk to you? No, no, no. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying that if you're saying that you love Jesus, you need to stand on the word of God. Because what I've seen that's missing in homes today, the fear of the Lord. Guys, I was too scared of my grandma to even do anything, anything that was like what I see these kids doing today. Who are you yelling at? Who are you yelling at? Who like it's just crazy. Some people, some mothers, 
their sons are hitting them, but they can't talk about it. So guys, there is a lot going on. And you know what? As I said, this thing doesn't discriminate. So now some married couples are going through things, but they can't say nothing. But then let me tell you something. That, that man that's there is a good man. That, that husband that's there and they're doing it together. God bless you. Now, some of these dads that are off and the, the, the son's causing havoc. Do you know what they think? They think they've got a lucky, lucky escape or like um, a, a get out card from jail. No, bro. You haven't escaped nothing. Yeah. Because God sees everything. You might not be there for that son that's causing havoc for that woman. But trust me, those ones that you're having, it will. It, this is what I was saying to um, a friend the other day. What you sow is what you reap. It might not come through these ones now, these children now, but those kids that you're having there, it, it might the, 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 um, it might come back in them. Yeah? A lot of guys are not around for their children and they think they've had a lucky escape or they've gone and started a new family. Bro, what you whatever is causing havoc, if your son's causing havoc and the woman's getting it now. That new family that you've started, yeah, it might come back around then. This is why I say that. I, I keep telling people, yeah, do the right thing if you want the right thing to follow you, yeah? You don't have to, you don't have to start trying to be bonding with a, with a woman and your son's grown. If you know where that son is and you know of that son is causing havoc, try and sort out your son because you can't run from responsibilities. They'll always knock, your past will always follow you. That's if, yeah, it depends. Guys, that was for someone because I, I wasn't even going to go and talk about dads. This is about mothers and their sons. I salute the fathers, the married men. You stuck you stuck for it with your wife. I am telling you, if you can just turn to prayer, yeah, God will change that boy. God will, he will do a miracle for you, yeah, if you can just turn to prayer. Now, as I was saying, I dedicate this video to my mom because I've seen it. My my, my brother today, my, my brother, <laughs> my brother turned his, his life around. Well, he was young anyway. He went to Africa. He's come back from Africa. Now he's 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 a gentleman. He's a father. He's yeah. His life is good. But if you ask him, do you think that would, like at that point? Obviously, he was upset with my mom. But now, as a man. He knows it was the best thing for him, yeah? You know, like, you, you got a good job, you got a, you've got your family, you've got money coming in. But now, if my mum didn't do that, where would that guy be now? I don't think his destiny will be the way his destiny is, yeah? So, guys, as I said, not everybody's got that African, like, option. But the best option is prayer. The best option is prayer. Boys are not easy these days. Listen, I, I don't want to talk about girls. We'll get to that. When the Holy Spirit wants me to come back and talk about girls, we'll, we'll talk about girls. But right now, the Lord says sons. Sons. And let me... Do you know what um the Lord put on my heart? The scripture. Because I was like, Lord, what scripture can... Because like, the women... I want you women to know that Jesus loves you. Jesus really loves you. This was heavy for me. I was like, ah. Like... A place where I've like been there, done that. And then the Lord is like, go and tell my daughters that I'm thinking of them. Yeah, they get, they're going for a lot. Then he, he's put me around women and it's the same story. My son, my son, my son, my son. And they don't even know that the sons don't know what they're putting their mom through. A son, your first son is your first love. There's, there's, there's a say that your, fir your first son is your first love. Anyway, let me tell you the scripture that the Lord gave me, guys. Yeah. And I pray that you meditate on it. So, um, John 19, 25 to 27. So it says, Near the cross of near the cross of Jesus stood his mother, his mother, sister, Mary, and wife of um, you go read that, and Mary Madeline. When Jesus saw his mother there and the disciples who he loved standing nearby, he said to her, woman he is your son and to the disciples he is your mother from that time on the disciples took her into their home now 
if you remember Jesus of Nazareth at that point, guys, the mom was crying. Her heart was broken. Her, the mom was crying. She was crying. She was like, like that. And they were trying to lift her up. And then Jesus was also looking at the mom. Yeah, he was just looking at the mom. He was on the cross. Yeah. Now, guys, each time you boys put your moms through all this stuff that you're putting them through, you're putting Jesus on that cross again. Each time you boys, and I pray that this is sent to boys as well, yeah, sons. Each time that you boys that were raised in a godly house, that you put your mother through that pain. Guys, go and watch Jesus of Nazareth and you see what I'm talking about. Each time you put your mother through that pain, you're putting Jesus on the cross again. The woman was heartbroken. Her son her only one son, her son. Then Jesus told his disciples from this day, take her as your mom. Guys, I'll close. I'll close, but seriously, I've had to go around women. I've had to go around women. A place where God delivered me from, a place where it's fresh. Like I know it. I know it. I took my boys to Ghana when it was a year of boys were dying like there's no tomorrow. Boys were dying like like after school, there's fights, fights, fights. I took them out for a season. I took my children out of this country for a season. Now, do, I don't know if people still do it. I don't know, but I, 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 yes, they do actually because I, I heard a story just the other day. But even that is heartbreaking. Your, your son's in Africa. You're here. And it, guys, the, this video is called A Mother and Son's Love. Just remember that bit I just said to you about Jesus at the cross when he was there, everything that he had drawn and went through and the mum was just crying. This is how it is when these boys put us through all this headache and you're crying and you're crying and you don't even know who to turn to because the, the, the wickedness of this world, people just pick up their phones and gossip and they don't even know what the true story is. But I've come to tell you, we're here, this ministry is here. If you need mentoring, if you need counseling, biblical counseling, we're here. Don't give up on your sons. Don't give up on your sons. Yeah? There were... People in the Bible, they were goners, but they had one accountant with Jesus. Jacob, yeah? Joseph, Moses. There are people in the Bible that had an accountant with Jesus and they changed. Paul is the best example. Paul on the horse. Guys, pray. Plead your sons in the blood of Jesus. Pray. Pray. And you know what? Yes, there's guilt. Yes, there's blame, but don't stay there. Don't, don't blame each other. If you're husband and wife, don't blame each other. Pray, where did we give this thing the legal right? Deal with the legal right, where it came in, and pray. Because the Bible says we're two and three, yeah? Matthew 18, 19. Pray, guys. Pray. So let's go out and just pray for families. Let's just end the live and pray for families. Yeah, because for me, it's just like, it's, it's just something that's on my heart. Yeah, as, as the law says, daughters will pray about daughters later on. But the enemy's out for your sons and you can't just give up. You have to pray. You have to get up at night and wrestle for your son. You have to pray. God has got a perfect plan for that child. It might not look like it now, but your prayers can turn things around. All right, guys, let's go out. Heavenly Father, we thank you, we glorify you, we give you the glory, we give you the adoration, we bless your holy name. Father, I just want to say thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for your perfect plan. Thank you for your will. We cover all the children, all the sons, boy sons, Lord Jesus, in the blood of Jesus. Those boys that you've handpicked, Lord Jesus, for a perfect plan. Those boys, their names are written in the book of life. We pray, Lord Jesus, that you bring them back to the heart of worship. We pray that you will raise up um, intercessors 
sisters, for these boys, Lord Jesus. Father, I pray that this video, people will name their sons so we can pray for their sons, Lord Jesus, and bring them back. Lord, I pray for open heavens for their sons in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Spirit of the living God, let your will be done, Lord Jesus. I cover this life in the blood of Jesus. Let the mothers, Lord Jesus, give them peace. Give them peace, Lord Jesus. Lord, let your daughters come back to you, Lord God. There's hope in you, Lord Jesus. Father, touch your daughters. Give them strength, inner strength to keep on fighting, keep on praying. Their battle's not yours. The ba battle's not theirs. The battle's yours. The battle belongs to you. Heavenly Father, we give you the glory. We give you the adoration. We bless your holy name. King of kings, Lord of laws. Lord! Visit us through the power of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Guys, I love you so much. I just wanted to come on and speak to mothers. Mothers. God gave me that scripture. Jesus and his mom. She looked at him and she was like, she didn't know what to do, guys. She was, can you imagine the trauma after all that? That day, Jesus loves you women. Jesus loves you women. Give it to him. Hand it over to him. Pray for your sons. I love you guys. To the next time I'm praying. I am praying. I am praying. As I said, I've been through it, guys. I might not look like it, but I have. And those that have me in that like, within reach, they know what I've been through. They know what I've been through. But praise God, I'll keep praying for sons, mothers, and sons. Please read that scripture, stand in the scripture, go and watch the movie, understand what that woman, what she went through, what Mary went through that day. Every time them sons are putting their mothers through hell, it's like putting Jesus back on that cross again. And the way the, what, the mothers, we weep for our sons. But I'm telling you, get the spirit of prayer. Get up and pray. I love you guys. Till the next time. Adasa, God bless you. I love you guys.